everyone, welcome to a brand new episode of Watch Us Play. I'm one of your hosts, Joey Davidson, alongside Michael White. And what you're seeing right now is Pikmin 3, or a very frantic version of it. <laughs> it's we're actually, so pretty. Well, we're held to some really ridiculous embargo restrictions. I don't know if they want me saying this, but I don't really care. We have to show, uh, if we want to do video content prior to release, which this is going up a couple days before the game comes out, we can only show it in minute-long slices. And we can't show a bunch of the different content from the game. So, this is Pikmin 3's mission mode. Right. And basically it's objective-based, time-based. We have seven minutes in this mode to collect as much treasure and corpses of our enemies <laughs> as we possibly can. Look at us, we're going after that cherry. So this is an early mission, right? You're only going to be able to find pretty much two different types of Pikmin in this? Yeah, actually the story mode only includes... so. If you guys don't know, the new Pikmin, we're getting ready to cut, so don't mind this awesome wipe. Okay, <laughs> so the story mission uh, actually only has four or five Pikmin, and yep. of those Pikmin, two of them are new, the rock and the wing, or the flying, which you're seeing the rock here, they're pretty awesome. Um, but in mission mode, they bring back the old Pikmin that they left out in this game. So nice. like that like white poison Pikmin yeah, yeah, yeah. and the purple strong one. Joey and I have been playing a lot of Pikmin 2 together recently, leading up to this. So yeah, we know it's, too it's, much. It's quite a contrast. Too much, well, and it's it's gorgeous. Yeah. Nintendo games hold up well over time. It's one of the reasons why I like them so much. Like, we could fire up Mario 64 right now, and yeah, it'd be ugly, but we'd still, still appreciate love it. it. Um, Pikmin 2 and, and Pikmin 1 are that way, but Pikmin 3, seeing it in HD, is just, it's unreal. And for me, it's its probably become the excuse to own a Wii U right now. Not nice. that there are many. Earthbound. <laughs> yeah, a 15-year-old game, you can own that now. And Starwipe. So, dude, man, they didn't have Starwipes in iMovie, you guys. You know how disappointed I am? I'm gonna write a letter. <laughs> a stern worded letter. To the to the grave of Steve Jobs. <laughs> um, and of course, with Pikmin, if you don't know, the colors often denote the abilities. The red Pikmin do not get hurt by fire, which is why I can throw them on their, these magma bosses and it's like, no big deal. So, seeing this, Michael, and seeing Pikmin 2, and, and I think that I think that you've grown pretty fond of these. Yeah. These little vegetable people. Yes. What do you think about this game? Is this I, something? Is this something that may be like you know? Okay, maybe I should consider a Wii U at this I point. I identify with them absolutely. Uh, yeah, in all honesty, I think the Wii U wasn't on my radar for a while, but uh, it's definitely grown on me, especially with this game coming out. Just look at it. If a lot of people don't see this as a system seller, all right, we're out of time. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching so much. I'm Joey. Next to Mike White. Look oh, at him almost make it. Oh no. no. <laughs>